One, two, three. Thinking about the chances of your grandma being arrested might make you laugh. Okay, first of all, uh, yes, I got a disability, okay? Yes, I got a disability. You good? Just walk up here in front of my car okay. for me. I got a disability. Okay, okay. But for some people, it's all too real. I'm 62, I've got skin cancer, I've got skin cancer, this place is all over me. Um, Don't go back there, okay? No, I'll go back there, my heart. But they're gonna arrest you again. Um, here are five examples of when entitled grandmas thought laws didn't apply to them. I gotta get, what type of expert can I get out? I mean, I have my reader and I log everything for my class action. Busted for DUI. In Clearwater, Florida on February 10, 2023, officers conducted a traffic stop on a woman after she was driving erratically. This grandma didn't try to hide her drink. <laughs> Jealous because I have values and standards. Can we, can we put your drink back in the car? Oh, Just give it to the. Oh, Bad on her feet and impaired? This may not go so well. My knees are really bad, you guys. You're gonna have to help me get down. God, help me. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, so it's going to be real important that you pay attention to my instructions, okay? Yes, sir. My name is Officer Bruno. Yeah. Before I get started, I'm going to ask you a couple personal information questions, okay? They're cutting to the chase and having her perform the sobriety tests. Don't move your feet until all the tests are over. I want you to stay in this position. Don't do anything else until I tell you to do so. Okay? Have you already done your HGN? I have. Okay. All right. So what I want for you to do first is I want you to make a fist with your hands like this. You now I have arthritis and sometimes they won't close all the way. They're doing pretty good though. I want you to extend the first finger, put your hands back down to your side, and turn your palms out slightly. Look at my hands. Oh, look at your hands? Okay. Okay? Just, just hold your hands like that. Okay? She seemed to understand the officer's instructions, at least. Huh. Did you understand all my instructions? Okay? Pretty simple? Huh. Open up your eyes. And relax your arms a little bit. Just keep your hands down to your side. Open up your eyes. Okay? You can relax your hands a little bit. All right. The next thing I'm going to ask for you to do is I want you to put your hands out in front of you like this. Okay? Yes, the light. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Just put your hands together like this, palm to palm. Okay? Hold your hands like that. Stay in that position until I'm done with my instruction, okay? This test is certainly taking it up a notch. You need to make sure that you keep your hands and your fingers parallel with each pat. All right? Okay. Once again, your hands got to be parallel. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? Okay. You understand that? Yes. Okay. When I tell you to begin, you begin, okay? Okay. You don't see these tests every day. This one seems more like some sort of party game than a sobriety test. And then you're going to put your hands back in the position that you took them out of. Your memorized position. This, like this. Right. Okay. So you remember how I told you. Four times One, and then two, three, times. three, four. Three. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then you're going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, I do it again after I clap. Right. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and relax. She couldn't play the game well enough and was arrested and charged with driving under the influence. Her court date is still pending. Her next grandma was so drunk, police weren't sure if she was still alive when they found her. She does appear to be breathing in at this time. 
ride to jail. Our next case takes us to Albuquerque, New Mexico, where patrol officers found an elderly woman passed out in a driver's seat. What's going on? Door locked. Uh, chain was passing by. Everybody's going faster. Okay, we we'll go ahead and have you guys stand over here for me, okay? Go ahead and stand right over here. The woman had stopped to wait for the train, but after it passed, her vehicle didn't move. The officer isn't even certain she's still breathing. Five two three, Sencom. Five two three, good. Okay, so we're really close to the railroad tracks here. Uh, it's gonna be a female, uh, red hair, black shirt, gray pants. She's passed out. Vehicle is still in drive. It looks like it's on a standard. I can't get her attention. I'm banging on the window and she's not waking up. Mab, state police! She does appear to be breathing in at this time. I'll try to figure out what rail line that is and see where it trains at. Luckily for the officer, two witnesses remain on the scene to help paint a picture. Five, two, three, seven, come. I have another all in when ready for another uh, witness for the train rip company. Go ahead. Did you see anything at all? Did you try to no, her communicating? This lady got on the wrong side of the road. Was she driving when you saw her? She was still driving, and I okay. told her, I was like, what, did, what the fuck is she doing? Because the train was still driving. What did you see? Um, so we were waiting for the train right here, and then she, I just see a car like pulling up on this side of the road. So driving on coming yeah. traffic? Yeah, and I'm like, ma'am, ma'am, the you're on the wrong side of the road, and she just looks at me, and she shrugs her shoulders, and um, she almost hits me because she goes like in the front like that, and she's okay. like, almost going, hitting the train. Okay. And um, You guys related to you and this person? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's been nearly eight minutes, and the grandma is still passed out cold. Ma'am, state police! Five, two, three, cent call. I cleared all those people out of the scene. I'm still unable to get a, uh, that driver's attention or to wake up. Jeff, we're with Jeff, we're with Ryan. Can show up with you? Negative. Finally, after nearly nine minutes, she wakes up. State police! New Mexico State Police! Go ahead and open the door. Put your vehicle in park, okay? Okay. Put your vehicle in park. I got five, two, three. I'm calling the incident right now. No, it's your reverse. Put it in park. Put it in park. All the way in park. I guess we'll see how tired she actually is. Go ahead and step out. You're okay. Go ahead, you're okay. Do you know where you're at right now? From a Sleda? From a Sleda what? We're calling PSNF right now. Casino? Okay. Okay, can I have you come over here for me real quick? Okay, just walk back to my car, okay? She's having a very hard time standing and speaking to the officer. You know where it's at? The fire is actually standing by for clearance. They want to know if it's secure. Uh, have, her, have him stand by right now. Okay, stand right there for me. I'm sorry, so you have wind on your mic? Is it clear? Have him stand by. That's it. I'm gonna, I see your ID. I'm going to get your ID, okay? Also, two deputies around now. I have an old land when you're ready. You want to stand right here? Right. Okay. <sighs> Once she admits to drinking, the clock is ticking on her arrest. And you were driving this vehicle, is that correct? As you told me. And you said you had a glass of wine. Uh, at the, is that the, at the casino you had a glass of wine? Yes. Okay, was it just one glass or how many glasses have you had? I might have had two glasses. You, I don't want you to fall, okay? You might, you might have had two glasses. I had two glasses. You had two glasses of wine. What kind of wine? Yeah. White Zinfandel. How long ago did you have that wine? Uh, over an hour. 
over an hour ago. Okay. So what I want you to do, okay, is I want you to stand heel to heel, toe to toe. That was rough. Finished? Finished? Okay. Go ahead and face me right here. Stand right here for me, okay? The officer has seen more than enough, and this grandma is under arrest for driving under the influence. The status of her case hasn't been made public. Luckily, she passed out behind the wheel and didn't hurt anyone, but the suspect in our third case was wide awake. Okay, first of all, uh, yes, I got a disability, okay? Yes, ma'am. I got a disability. You good? Just walk up here in front of my car okay. for me. I got a disability. Okay. Okay. Grandma's driving drunk. Brinkley, Arkansas is the scene of our third case. On July 12, 2023, Officer Taylor stopped a woman after she was driving in the wrong lane. 1024 Pinewood Apartments. Here in Brinkley, Mississippi, Nora Edward Charles 6037. Nora Edward Charles 6037, Black Charger. The driver is trying to compose herself as best she can before the officer approaches her car. Hey, how's it going? I'm good. Hey, I'm Trooper Taylor with the Arkansas State Police. Okay. The reason I stopped you, okay, is when you come out to apartments down there, when you turn onto the street here, you just driving in the other lane there, you didn't. Scoot back over to this side of the road. I'm sorry. The two, I just got this guy's a rental car and I'm not used to driving. Okay, you got your driver's license for yeah. insurance. That's the first time I've heard it's a rental used as an excuse for driving on the wrong side of the road. Yes, uh, I just, it's a rental car. It's a rental. There's that, Miss Hudson. Mm -hmm. How much have you had a drink this evening? Well, I had a drink before I left the house. She quickly plays the disability card. Okay, first of all, uh, yes, ma'am. I got a disability. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I got a disability. You good? Just walk up here in front of my car okay. for me. I got a disability. Okay. Okay. You need help? Yeah, I normally do. I got you. I normally do. Yeah. You can just turn around. You can just try to sit on that little bumper right there if you want to. Okay. What you want to do, okay? Okay. The officer wastes no time and asks her to provide a breath sample and perform some standard field sobriety tests. You ever took one of these? Yeah. Okay, so like a long, deep breath, like blowing up a balloon. I'll tell you when to stop, okay? okay. I got COPD, too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Long, deep breath, like blowing up a balloon. I'll tell you when to stop. You want to blow harder than that? Blow, you gotta blow hard. It's not even registered. Oh. Alright, let's try it one more time. Okay. By a long deep breath, I blow a bubble. Okay. Hard as you can. I'll tell you when to stop. Oh, it's too late. I got, let us say, I got COPD. I can give you my. 30, 30, Alright, can you see the tip of my finger? Mm -hmm. Why don't you follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only? Don't move your head, okay? Okay. When you admit to being a 4 out of 10, you're getting arrested for a DUI. 30, 30, 34 city next to Montana. Alright. What can do? You finna go jail. Oh, what? Don't. Don't oh, do okay. it. Hey, hey uh, uh, go for my husband. Would, would you do that? You know me, you might, you might call for me. Where am I going, to Brinkley? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Can I come across? Guard, it'll be around this passenger side. She doesn't put up a fight, and for good reason. She knows what the officer will find when he searches her car. That's it.
straight whiskey. Straight whiskey and straight to jail. Unlike this grandma, our next suspect was a very real danger to the public. One, two, three. 75-year-old driver. We now take you to Verona, New Jersey, where on May 2nd, 2023, officers responded to an accident in a parking lot. The driver was shockingly intoxicated. What happened? Actually, I'm, I'm okay. How'd you hit this car? I'm not in trouble here. Still need your uh, license. How much have you had to drink today, Mom? Couple shots. When did you have those? Were you on the car? I see one in the back here. I mean, you can be honest with me. This is what it is at this point. No, that, that's for what she admits to drinking, and this should be an open and shut case. She can hear what she can radio. Okay. And you were, were you drinking in the car? Were you drinking at your apartment before? I have a little drink on that here. While you were here? Okay. How many drinks did you have? I thought one. Just one? Yeah. I, I think it's smart enough to do have over there, I drive home and I'll have maybe another one. While you're there? While you're at home? When I'm home. Okay. She's going to be charged with failure to produce a driver's license. Uh, I don't know if you're good to drive. I smell some alcohol coming off your You're slurring your words a little bit. You never even got your license out of your um, wallet in there. You gave me a bunch of different random cards. All right, so I want to do some tests to make sure you're okay. Okay. Thank you, Joe. All right. Let's come back here, right? She's unable to perform the field sobriety test. I need you, I need you to put your hands here. Have yeah. trouble balancing? Yeah. All right. Follow the pen with your eyes, okay? You follow the tip of the pen, okay? Do you understand the instructions? No, but I'm... I need you to look at the tip and with your eyes. Don't move your head. It should be a single business in this building now. You can shoot out this way. Do you understand or no? Uh, You're not following it. I am. Miss, do you see the tip of the you pen? You see the tip of the pen. Okay. I need you to follow the tip of the pen with your eyes. As the pen moves, move your eyes. Okay? okay. Don't move your head, just your eyes. This isn't setting up to go any better. Hands at your side. Miss, just listen to Just listen to my instructions. Let me start with this. I'm already having problems with things like you described. Okay. I already have a doctor called Carol Wilson. He already doing something for me. Get me a deep person that I have a problem with what you're describing. You what don't understand. What, 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 what's the problem? With? What are you not understanding? We're asking you very simple instructions, okay? We we believe that you're under the influence or intoxicated. So in order for us to make sure you're okay and get you back in your car, you need to follow our tests, okay? So Officer Pammy is going to explain to you the second test called the walk and turn test. You need to listen to him and follow his instructions, okay? Okay. okay. And that's a fail. One, two, three. Right, yeah. Put your hands around your back, okay? Stop, 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 stop. Hands behind your back. You're under arrest for driving while intoxicated, okay? Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Put your 
arrest. You're under arrest. I'm intoxicated. Come here. I need your hands. You gotta put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest, okay? She's lucky she doesn't have a gun. I, I you want me to get the hair out of your mouth? I would love that. Okay. I don't even have a gun or anything. Yeah, perfect. We don't okay. need those. Here, could you just scoot your legs? I'm going to buckle your seat, okay? Here, just watch watch your legs, miss. Scoot your legs in, all right? No, I feel sorry for you guys. Why is that? Why is you have a lot to work to do. I know, I know. After getting the details from the owner of the truck, the cops took the lady to the precinct. She pleaded guilty to driving under the influence in exchange for the charges of careless driving, reckless driving, delaying traffic, and failure to produce a driver's license being dismissed. She was ordered to pay $790 in fines. Her license was revoked, and she had to have an interlock device installed in her vehicle. The suspect in our final case didn't need a vehicle or alcohol to do her damage. I'm 62, I've got skin cancer, I've got skin cancer, there's plasters all over me. Um, Don't go back there, okay? No, I'll go back, that's my heart. Well, they're gonna arrest you again. 60-year-old um, woman. Our fifth case takes place on April 18th, 2022, and involves a 60-year-old woman suspected of breaking and entering into a home. When officers arrived at the scene after getting a 911 call, the woman had already fled. They soon tracked her down, but she wasn't about to go easily. If I have to get you, it's going to go bad for you. They do not exist. Okay, well then stop. You have stop. Be paranoid stop. Paranoid stop. No, no. Turn around. I no, will. I will. No, no. Get up and run. Get up and Damn, that's so let go. I did not do anything wrong. <laughs> give us the other hand, Terry. Hand. Ah, Terry, give hand. us the other hand. Ah. She's clearly unaware of what's going on and continues to rant. They stole my dog. Stop. You get me to get So she ran over here from that house, yeah. and that's the house we were dispatched to? Yeah. You have destroyed me, and I'm dying of you. What were you doing in there? Um... Huh? Um, you own the house? The little house? Okay, so before anything, I'm gonna read your rights, okay? She's got a trick for the officers. Oh, listen, listen. That was my home. Hey, that's my home. That's my home. Give me your that's hands. my home. That's my home. Give me your hand. That's my home. The longer they wait to get her in the car, the bigger risk they run of her taking off. I'm arrest. Oh, please help me, God. Please don't do this. Bobby, with a positive identification out of the way, they need to get her to a hospital for observation. Okay, you took okay. me off my property. And you never took me off That's on your property, though. Yeah, it is. Okay. Go, go, go talk to it. Okay, I'll go talk to you. Them right you now. don't even have your license okay. for this. You don't have your okay, license for a car. And I know the guy you got from the hotel. Okay. And also, you end up having the other guy do the program. Okay. You haven't dealt with her yet? Not yet. Oh, yeah, you're about to. You're about to learn who she is. The good doctor is about to earn his pay. The police have to bring anyone they feel may be under the influence of drugs to a hospital for examination before they can be taken to jail for booking. Hi there. I'm Dr. Wolf. How are you? Um, no, no, I finally stole my dog. Uh, okay. I'm now, sorry and also that. they raped me on trust property. Uh, now they drug me off my property. And okay. the man down there at Waco, you can sit there and vouch for it. Gotcha. We wanted to give the homeless that. And also, you can check with the other man. I'm supposed to get windows. And I'll say doors, but in. I'm the Methodist Church. All right. You mind if I listen to your heart? Usually, if they're under under the influence of anything, the jail will reject them. Really? Yes. Yeah, so we have to bring them here to get them to get them medically cleared. The woman was charged with criminal trespass and resisting arrest. Her sentence hasn't been made public, and since she says she'll be going back to the house, we may be seeing her again.